good morning. My name is Carmen Milagro Torres. I am an English professor and one of my passions is children's literature. The Goki. This little creature not only sings at night and in humid times, but is the inspiration of many writers and it appears in many books and many poetry and many songs. Uh, the Goki has become the symbol of Puerto Rican identity. And when you visit Puerto Rico, you will see lots of uh, items created where the Goki appears. You see uh, the artisans also use the image of the Goki to represent it in their carvings, in their jewelry. So the Goki is a very important figure in our culture. So it's not a surprise that many children's books have a Goki in it. When we, uh, one of the oldest books that I do know where the Goki appears is called La Canción Verde. This uh, short novel, which is a classic in children's literature in Puerto Rico, uh, presents a Goki that decides to travel to New York and all the adventure that it has. And within this adventure, you see uh, the uh, you see how the identity of Puerto Rico is represented through the cookie and this nostalgia for the beauty of our island. Now, in more contemporary time, the cookie still is a very important figure. So, I would like to share with you one of the books that have the cookie, and it's this book called The Song of the Cookie. This book uh, is a collection of short stories and the story that gives the title to this book is the one that has to do with the Coqui. The book was written by Nicolás Zamor and it was illustrated by Antonio Martorell, a very well-known plastic artist of our island. When we look at the story, this story, The Song of the Coqui, is basically a story about the creation. So the story begins, uh, in the beginning there was no sound. And it moves on to show how God created our island of Borinquen where it says, uh, then grass grew, trees appeared, flowers blossomed, and the wind whispered through the mountains. A hush floated along the breeze. The god Huracan smiled down from his from the highest mountain peak enjoying his home, the beautiful island of Borinquen. So in this story, uh, Nicolás Amor uses uh, the myth of the Tainos about the god Huracan, which is the one that created the hurricanes, to explain basically what happened. Because after the creation, this uh, God feels alone because everything is in silence. And when he awakes, surprise, he hears a sound. And that sound is the sound of the Koki. And it says, a sound, at first like a raindrop, woke Huracan. He stood, stretched, and listened. The sound grew louder and louder. It echoed once, it echoed twice. Soon the sound was everywhere. Koki, Koki, it sang. So this is a very beautiful story for those, uh, not only for children in Puerto Rico, but for other children to learn about the traditions of our island and how important is this creature. So this story, like, this one is in Spanish. It's called Colí, el coquí que se negó a morir. This uh, book, which is, was written by Gloria Vidal de Albo, are basically several stories about this coqui who survived different difficult situations. And it basically makes children aware about conserving our environment. So it's a very beautiful story. I mean, very beautiful stories. It's a collection. Uh, it's very beautifully illustrated. The illustration, I mean, attracts children. They can see uh, the coqui is represented very, uh, very clearly in, in a way that attracts smaller children. And the stories that are available here are four stories. One of them called Pauline, 
y el monstruo amarillo. Polín huye de la extinción. Polín busca a sus amigos, un ángel para Polín. And these stories all have a, a life that unites them. And it's basically the survival of this Koki against the different difficulties that he faced, especially the ones that are created by man. That the other book that I want to share is a bilingual book. It has it has the English and Spanish version in the same book. And it's called in English, Everywhere Cookies. It's the song of the song of Puerto Rico by Nancy Hooper. And it's illustrated by Raymond Betancourt. This story is a poor quartel. I consider it a poor quartel because it explains how, why we hear the coqui throughout the whole island. Because at the beginning of the story, the coqui only sing in one particular area. So I'll read to you the first page so you can get a sense of what is the story about. It says, once upon a time, deep in the ancient rainforest of Puerto Rico, a tiny coqui lived at the base of a tall palm tree. Although the moon shone through the trees and vines, the air was heavy and still the coqui was afraid to be alone. He poked his head up from beneath some leaves and began to sing in a small timid voice, Coqui, Coqui, Coqui. He stopped to catch his breath and listen. It was still very quiet. He began to sing again, a little louder this time, Coqui, Coqui, Coqui. And soon he heard an echoing song coming from the distance. It sounded familiar, just like his own song. Coqui, coqui, coqui. The little coqui smiled. He wasn't afraid anymore. More coqui were coming to keep him company. And so a group of coqui get all together, but uh, the conflict comes with the parrots that do not like to hear the coqui singing all night and they are basically protesting that they cannot sleep because of their singing. And then the adventure goes on that the Koki move on to other areas, other places, and in this adventure they learn about other traditions that they are not aware of in the forest. So they meet pirawiros, they meet mask makers, they hear traditional music while the conflict is solved. So this book appears in both English and Spanish version. It's a very beautiful book, beautifully illustrated. I would like to end my presentation with a book that it talks about the island of Puerto Rico and it dedicates a part of the story to the Coqui. This is the book in esta hermosa isla. This book was written by Edwin Fontanes. He's an author. And he has the company Exit Studio where he publishes books. Some are, are dedicated to the culture of Puerto Rico. And in this book, which also has a song to it, uh, it talks about the beauty of Puerto Rico and through the eyes of a Taino. And in this adventure, we see we meet the Coqui. And here we have it's also very beautifully illustrated and it was illustrated by the author and we have here when the Taino boy says Escucha la canción que mueve montañas de un sapito chiquito como tu dedo pulgar ¿Conoces al coquí? ¿Ves qué pequeñito es? Escucha atento a su canción y descubrirás que de su arrullo nocturno te enamorarás Coquí Coqui es la canción de mis sueños. Coqui, coqui, sentadito en su hoja verde está. Coqui, coqui, los días bellos de yo son su favorito. Es cuando más le gusta cantar. Our coqui is a very small animal. As small as he described, as small as our thumb. But as, even though it is small, in physical terms, it is a very big creature because it has come to this island. It is the lullaby that puts people in the island to sleep. So our coqui not only is a physical 
element of the island, but it's also a very sim symbolic element. It has shown the identity of our island because many years ago our belief was that the coquín could only sing in Puerto Rico. Nowadays, just as Puerto Rican have done, have come to the diaspora to contribute with their culture and with their talent. The Coquí has done so when it moved to Hawaii, because now the Coquí, which I learned years ago, is in Hawaii and is singing, which is something that when I was a small child, it was impossible. Everybody said, no, the Coquí was only in Puerto Rico and could only sing in Puerto Rico and could only survive there. So our little Coquí has represented our identity in an excellent way. It is basically the muses of many writers, especially for children's uh, writers, authors. They have used the coqui in their stories as an important character, if not the protagonist. So these stories are very important to know and to share with our children, not only those that are from our culture, but other, from other culture also because they can then learn of our island, of our identity, of our tradition through the eyes of this small creature that has won the heart of many people. So thank you very much for sharing with me my first uh, V-blog about some children's books, the Koki. So see you next time sharing other books that are of children's literature. Have a very nice day.